um, to my Uber driver and his dashboard and kind of explain like if, if he plays jay Z song and let's say Jay Z actually wrote the music but it was performed by somebody else or but how much does you know how much does he get paid for that you touch the Pandora button let's say you are um, the the artists the the Yes, Ricky and his label are being paid a, at a rate set by the Copyright Royalty Board under a standard of fair market value. If, you, if, the, if the Uber driver presses a Jay-Z song on FM radio. So if you are listening to, to Jay-Z over the air, um, on the sound recording side, the FM station pays nothing and never has. Our industry pays hundreds of millions of dollars to, to the PROs on the musical work side. Congress is about the gives and takes of balance, balancing policy. And broadcast radio and policymakers we have seen for decades recognize the value of what our members do. We offer something that you don't need to pay a subscription for it, and you don't need to sign up for an expensive data plan. It is completely free over the air to listeners. Our members, our stations are uniquely locally focused. We would submit that radio is um, a music service that is ad-supported. They don't do it out of the goodness of their heart. They do it because they make 15 to $17 billion a year selling ads, and they do that against an, uh, the audience that they draw. And they draw that audience largely playing music, which they don't pay for. On the, they don't pay for the sound recording. But we are interested in them, like all of the other digital music services do, uh, sharing the profits that they make from music with the people who make the music.